beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so congratulations. You passed your board certification exam. Yay! You can now ask your company to pay you more money. Yay! You can keep your job after three months also. Yay! Um, so I'm going to go over the continuing music therapy education credits and break down some prices for you guys because um, that's always a common question like how can I get my C CMTEs for ch the cheapest? I'm going to end up getting like shunned <laughs> by sharing my my knowledge with all of you because you know the music therapy board they don't, they don't want you to do it the cheapest way oh, oh no you gotta support you gotta support the people but hey you can't support the music therapy association until you support yourself and i'm sorry but that entry level salary that you just achieved is not gonna do it for you so first things first on the list um so it goes through this sheet i ended up getting guy i forget where i got this from but i'll put it in the description down below uh this is something you know that i need to write on because uh handwriting is really sloppy and if i do it on the computer it's gonna come out a disaster okay so approved provider opportunities um, and then you have a certification of completion. You have one credit per 50 minutes, and then you can get up to 100 credits. How many, how many do you need for a recertification? I think, it, I think it's like 500, but again, don't know. So I'm going to go down here to my binder and pull it up. My coffee is just about kicking in, so I apologize if I start to go off the walls at some point during the video. Oh, oh, it's only a hundred credits. Okay, cool. You just need a hundred credits. Um, wow. And I was gonna go tell you guys to get five hundred. That would have been ridiculous. So I, I've actually done this, like going through and figuring out um, <laughs> the cheapest way to get continuing ed credits for um, my other, I'm a, I'm a certified brain injury specialist um, and I uh, have gotten those continuing education credits for free as well. Well, not for free, I should say, like, you know, but the, the thing is that you do have, so you got to keep in mind that when you get these credits, you want to pay as minimum as possible because you do have to pay for the certification in the renewal. So like I recently renewed my um, brain injury certification and I had to pay $65, which like isn't that much. But like if you if $65 and then you go to conference and then you do like subscribe to the journal, blah, 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 blah you're looking at like $200. It's very easy for these things to add up. So that's why we're going through and figuring out the best possible way <laughs> to get it for free <laughs> or uh, at a reduced cause cost because you know we want to support that music therapy community. Um, okay, so approved provider opportunities. So um, one that I'm gonna pull up here. <sighs> What's her name? Kate. really remember her last name. Ah, I was right. Kate Bolton. She has music therapy ED. There's a lot of like websites out here that are like approved providers. They, they post them on the website. But I think that Kate Bolton at musictherapyed.com, hers is legit the best. Okay, like this woman... Let's just back up for a second and appreciate her as a music therapist. Um, she actually got her master's in music therapy. She did not do a bachelor's and she really, really struggled doing sessions. And it really spoke to me because I don't like implementing sessions either. So, um, so it spoke to me and 
anyway, I give this girl a lot of credit. She ended up setting up this whole website and she has continuing um, CMTEs for like, you know, and, and the prices are pretty good. Like, I mean, like this one, for example, this is online Zen and WordPress. It's um, $275. Dollars and you only get 15 CMTEs, but she there's a lot of like discounts on here, and she does like offer. I think you get the best bang for your buck off of her website. There's a, there's a lot of others though. Like I don't want to put anybody down. I just I re she just really spoke to me. So um so I'm gonna put this down um for a suggested website. She does do, um, they do post, like, stuff. I gotta get my calculator out. They do post, like, a lot of courses, but I'm just gonna use the one that I mentioned. Um, so, it's $275 for 15 credits. Um, which, like, that, that is gonna be more on the expensive side, but if, you know... I think her stuff is probably the, her stuff is like the cheapest and plus they even have this little thing you can obtain all 100 um, on this site alone. Each course is 3 to 15 credits. So that um, 275 one that was the most expensive and you get two months for most courses to complete. So I, I think, I think her website's pretty good dollar wise per credit. Next one is graduate courses. Jeez, <laughs> that's like really expensive. Um, I'm gonna pull up where I did mine. Wait, is this? <laughs> I'm like, wait, is this where? Because. My school was not in LA. Ah, it was California Southern. So California Southern, actually this, um, this university was recommended to me by the NYU music therapy program for as a um it like they give really good psychology courses I think you can end up getting a PhD in psychology online at this university they they offer a lot like let me go to degree programs just in case you guys are curious <laughs> um yeah it would be school of behavioral they offer a sort of, yeah, they do offer a doctorate in psychology, a psych D online. Psych Ds are clinical. Um, and they also have a master's of arts in psychology and a master's of science. So the way that like these, um, the courses on here work, um, they start one, like at the first of the month and then they go, I think they go for two months. And then if you need an extension, you just like it's a, a couple hundred for the extension but i was able to do mine in time <laughs> so um but i'm gonna put that down here california southern or it's cal southern oh no i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> oh, excuse me <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's california southern not edu um, and then here it has, it's 10 credits per one quarter hour, 15 credits per one semester. I, I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. Um, I guess we could just say that one class is 10, like one class at California Southern. Well, it's not a quarter hour. It would be a, it would be a semester because it, oh. I did a master's level course, so I, I guess you could, we could say 15, so for one, one course. Um, so then that's their courses, let's see how much they are, um, is it, ah, affordable tuition. 
And, I mean, you could do community college too. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, this isn't the other only university, but it's just, um, I think that it's reasonable. I thought the classes on here were pretty darn easy. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, and they were pretty easy. So here we go. I'm just going to do single course. Oh, obviously, it's going to be expensive, but you could get your company to pay for it. That's what I did. <laughs> so um, so we have 545, and then I'll do times three because each credit is about three, right? So then that would be um, 1635 for uh, 15 credits. And then if you get your company to pay for it like I did, um, I paid for two credit or two classes in one. Um, like I paid before I took the class and I paid full out because I got the money from the company. So I was able to do the two courses for under $2,000, which is pretty good. Next one is mentor self-study. I don't really, usually this is like the option I choose because like it's usually free, but I don't really know what this necessarily means. Um, so it's CMTE program plan. I'm going to look it up to see what they're talking about because I don't really know. Um, Oh, here we go. AMTA self-study e-course catalog. Oh, this is going to be expensive. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to do the regular cost. It's seven, 75 for a member, but then you have to factor like being a member into like the whole thing. So I'm just going to pretend that, um, we're not members. It looks like it's 125 for three courses. That's for the uh, CMTE program plan. And let's see, CMTE final evaluation. So program plan is 125 for three credits. And let's see this. Oh, Music Works is also a really good one. I forgot about that one. <laughs> that came up too. Yeah, it doesn't say final evaluation. I did find I did find one on here. Um 150 for five that's pretty darn good this one's for music therapy intern supervision which might be a good one if you guys want to um become supervisors i'm trying to read and see if this <laughs> uh, it sounds like it just talked about stuff i already knew <laughs> I hate to sound like i hate to sound conceited but like i'm sorry 150 is a lot of money <laughs> It could, it could be beneficial. I, I felt like being a supervisor, I felt like it was harder. I'll put that down though here, like 150 for five, just so we could kind of have a breakdown and figure out what the cheapest option would be. I'll be honest, like I felt like being um, a music therapy supervisor, that's down here as one of the ways, which I'll, I guess I'll skip to that because we're talking about it now. Um, being a music therapy supervisor, actually supervising was not the difficult part. And that's what it sounds like it talks about in this class. Um, music, like being a supervisor was not the difficult part. I just pretty much copied everything that happened in my internship and adapted it. Like for what I thought worked and for the place and all that stuff. It was actually advocating for myself as a music therapist, practicum supervisor, um, that was the hard part. <laughs> so being a supervisor and like having your higher ups respect that now Miss Entry Level is a supervisor, that was more difficult than actually supervising. Um, anyway, 
So if I skip down here, practicum, student, and intern. This is probably the most easiest one because it's not going to cost you. Well, it might cost you money because you might have to like, you might have to put in some extra effort and not get paid for it. At least that's what I have on my place. Um, so five credits per practicum student and 10 credits per intern. So, well, there you go. <laughs> that's pretty much set in stone. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have attendance at the AMTA National or Regional Conference. Jesus Christ, this was, I think, is the most expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> let's check it out shall we of course if i go to the well if we go that'd be kind of cool right <laughs> so um i'll do the mar we'll check out how much this one is uh how to host a mar co-sponsor cmte course how much would it be Oh, you know what? They might not have it on here because, like, cause it's too far in advance. <laughs> um, all professionals. Okay, well. It says $65 on here, but that's not true because it's definitely more than that. When I was a student, so when I was a student, it to go to the Mar conference, I think it was like about a hundred if you did the early bird. So let's just double that and pretend it's two hundred. So certificate of attendance, five credits per five <laughs> $200 for five credits. See, I'm telling you, this one's the most expensive. Because, yeah, because the self-mentoring was $150 for five credits. <laughs> okay. Concurrent sessions at the national conference. Um, okay, well, that one, that one's tech. I guess that's in, that is included in the $200. <laughs> so, um, so let me see here. Uh, concurrent sessions, okay, I guess tech, you could also do a presentation, so if we, okay, so let's say we went to, let's say we went to the, um, let me just check the national conference, the MAR one doesn't have, the mid-Atlantic region is the MAR, they don't have a price on there, Conference, National Conference. It would be for 2020. Let's see how much it is. And then and then I can like go through that money. Okay, so yeah, so it's usually in November. Does it say the price? Oh my god. What is wrong with these people? Don't they realize that we make 35000 annually? <laughs> um, so, if you early registration, and that's what we'll do, it's $670. That's ridiculous. Then if you're a member, you get 400 off. So, if I did... Oh my gosh, I thought my calculator broke. That would have been horrible. So uh, 670 minus 359, 395. So 270. So you could technically get this registration for 275, but then you also have to factor in like your membership. So I'm not even going to go there. Uh, we're just going to pretend that it's 670. We're going to pretend that we're not members and it's 675. So, and that's ridiculous. And then you only get like. <laughs> this is the most expensive option so um okay and then you get 50 credits or a uh, five i wish you got 50 so okay so if we take let's say you go to the regional conference and you pay 670 to go um, so you get five credits for actually going to the national conference and then uh, every session you go to I guess you get one credit per 50 minute session so 
there well some of those sessions were i remember when i went like they they had some sessions were like 50 minutes and some sessions were like three hours so let's just pretend um i'm trying to think of accurate number let's just say you get 10 credits right so you went so you did 500 hours that's about right right if you're there for like three days so five times um, 10 credits, that's ridiculous. You would only get 15 and you'd have to spend seven, 670. P potentially you could do pu a publication, um, but that yet again, <laughs> um, that's gonna take time outside of the conference. So that's gonna be like more time that you're not spent, yeah. Co I shouldn't be saying this because I'm going to get blackmailed, but conference is real. <laughs> Such a ripoff, man. Like, what? <laughs> um, anyway, so, but that's the, that's the national conference. The regional one is, um, I remember the regional one was more affordable. And you could still do the same thing, like, go to 10 sessions. Okay, so then we have read and analyze current professional publications. This is one that I do quite frequently. So uh, written summary or full reference citation. So it's two credits per journal article and two credits per book summary. And you can get, you can get all 100 credits just from doing this. Um, and I think that this is like one of the best ways, especially like, so first of all, I'm a graduate student and I have access to the library. Um, so I can, and you and what? <laughs> they do have a music therapy program. So um, as a student, I can get access to all the music therapy journals. Um, if you are not a student, check out your local library. I was able to get a significant amount of like brain injury um all brain brain injury nutrition and brain injury music therapy holistic healing i was able to get all of that from the library for free also this one website um mass general publishes all, most of their publications to this one website um i'm gonna pull it up for you guys let's see One of the great parts about Mass General is they have a center for uh, laryngeal voice therapy. And they post like a lot of articles on it. They also have a creative arts therapist like on staff too. Sometimes they do. Like it, it depends on like what um, location you're at. But most of their research is posted to this website. And listen, like Mass General is the number one hospital on that East Coast. What, what? <laughs> so, yeah, so it's really great. And of course, clinical trials. Where's your publications, people? <sighs> no! Ah! Uh, I wanted to see publications and research. Oh! <sighs> <laughs> now I'm just gonna have to search a little bit longer. Let's do, I'll do um, neurology. I'll find someone's name and, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Selected publications, here we go. I'm getting close. Here we go. Does Alzheimer's disease and relative, uh, relative dementia modify delirium <laughs> severity and hospital outcomes? Um, so this was published this is published, it's um, NCBI, uh, National, U.S. National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health. These articles are free um, for the most part. This is posted on, um, what is this called? This is the Journal of American Geriatrics Society. So this might not necessarily be free. Oh, look at that. It was published on my birthday. So it's really recent. Um, so I, I love these the best. <laughs> They're the greatest. And I think you learn the most by reading articles. Um, because like the next one down further down is actually writing research articles. 
So I'm going to put that on here, just this website, ncbi.nlm.gov. Oh, I'm sorry, nlh.gov. And totally check out Mass General. <laughs> Or I should say Mass General, they post a lot of their articles. If you search Mass General on here, you're not going to, like, it's not going to be found. But you can research, like, you can look up staff at a hospital, and then it will tell you, like, their publications, and then you can click on the publications, and then it will probably, at, on Mass General, it will definitely bring you to this website so you can read the article for free. A uh, library is also good, public library or your school library. Your um, university library might, like, you might have access to it even though you graduated because sometimes they don't, like, kick you off right away. Okay, other continuing education opportunities. So we have written summary, proof of attendance, um, official transcripts for undergraduate courses. I don't know if that's, I don't know if you can, like, do that. I don't know. Like, I know you could do a post-bac, and that's technically undergraduate courses, so that might fall into this category, but post-bacs are really expensive, so I'm not even going to put that on here. Um, I can't believe it's 20 credits for an undergraduate course, yet 10 credits for a, or 15 for a graduate course. Like, that's some bull right there. <laughs> Okay, so then we have a uh, workshop, course, concurrent sessions, research poster, legislation, testimony, roundtable. Um, these are all things that happen at conference, so that would be incorporated in either the $200 or the $670 price. Um, we have practicum, music therapy, interns. Uh, for this one, um, it's really good to set everything up ahead of time. That's going to make it easier for you. And this is actually probably going to be free of charge. Like you're not going to have to put any money out there, but you are going to have to do a lot of work. So it's a catch 22. Um, uh, moving on. Okay. So we have, um, a book author or editor. Obviously we all know, we all know who those people are. Um, who do that? Music compositions, written summary, um, music score, audio recording. Clearly, I'm not going to do that one. I hate writing <laughs> music. Um, but that one could be free. I don't know how that works. Like, how would they know you're not just, like, lying? Like, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I wonder how music comp, like, I, not that I would do it, but, like, how do they know you actually wrote a composition and you didn't just, like, write a hello song? Like, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe a hello song might count in this category. It's not very specific. Um, and that's free of charge. So why don't I put that on there? Okay, so grant um awards this is kind of difficult to sort of do because you need to like in order to write a grant i'm trying to think at my old job you could write grants for the program so i guess that's where this would count um but like if you're if if somebody else writes the grants like if you have a supervisor and they're in charge of the grant then that which is more likely the case then this wouldn't really work for us and plus I don't even know what grants they offer like for music therapy specifically I don't think there's that many out there and it might be difficult to get get it if there's not that many out there we have a non-peer reviewed professional publication um non-peer reviewed professional publication peer reviewed professional publication can anybody oh uh, yeah can anybody like tell me how to write a publication because other than working in a lab i don't know how to be a part of the publication research community especially as entry-level undergrad graduate like if you're in a graduate program i'm sure it's a lot easier and i'm sure people are more attuned to you doing it but the only way i ever was able to work on a publication was if i worked in like a science lab and i'm pointing to the screen because mass general like lab you know <laughs> that was the only and that's like not 
technically that's science, that's not music therapy. So I don't, that wouldn't count as a credit. But if somebody could inform me, maybe comment down below how to like do a professional publication in music therapy, please let me know because I don't know how. <laughs> um, unless I enter into a master's program, I don't know, which I'm not gonna do right now because that's expensive, I don't know. Um, and then a thesis or dissertation. Does my undergraduate thesis count? <laughs> because that that would that would be a good one. Eight of credits for a thesis. Oh, and then you actually you'd almost be covered, right? Well, let me think for a second, because this might work. If you had to write a um, paper, like if you had to write an undergraduate like paper, depending on your school, you might have gotten your board certification and written your paper in the same year so and and then you know if if you're in a master's program like um healthcare administration for example sometimes you graduate and then your paper is due so you might be able to use that to your advantage i wouldn't count on it though like some of these like wishy-washy ones like the music composition the thesis like they might not approve of that so it's always good to throw it in but make sure you have backup okay then we have professional development uh develop a new amta academic program letter of uh program approval from the amta gee i hope this youtube channel counts as developing a new program <laughs> Developing a new academic program. It probably won't because that's my luck, but uh, Establishing a music therapy internship. Oh, I definitely did that um, University affiliated eh, I don't really know if Verification from university Ah, Technically I did accomplish this one um, University affiliated um that would be, so you would get 30 credits for being university affiliated and then you'd get um, five credits or 10 credits per intern student. So wait, I gotta figure this out. Cause technically I did do this one. I had two intern students, so that's 20. And then um, I was university affiliated. So that, that's 50. Cool, so I'm halfway there. Um, and then service to music therapy professionals. Um, does, does a YouTube, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, does a YouTube video count as service? No, probably not. But definitely if you did anything in the, with the coronavirus music therapy wise, like online music therapy sessions, that probably counts. One credit per 50 minute session. Oh, so that's pretty good. So let's say you did like three hours. Yeah, let's say you did three sessions, right? three hour sessions a day um, online, that's service right there. So that would count. <laughs> so, and that's free. Well, not, not necessarily, but um, you should be getting paid and you'd be getting credit. So that's pretty good. You would actually reach the, you would reach the 50, 50 credit limit. Okay, so let's go back. So the best one to do would be the internship star that like I said you gotta have all your ducks in a row but if you could get so uh you could do a 30 credit and so within like your first year of being a music therapist you could do a 30 credit university affiliated internship and you could have well, you can have up to, so you can get up to 50 credits for practicum student, for like the student. So if you did university affiliated, so that would be 30 credits, right? And then let's say you got 50 students, that would be 80. So, so that's like almost all of them, right? Then um, you can get up to 100 by doing journal article or book chapter. So that being said, if you wanted to do 20, if you wanted to do 10 journal articles, then there you go. Then you met all of the requirements. Technically, you could do journal articles, like summary of a journal article for 100 credits. <laughs> that means you'd have to read 50 journal slash book chapters, and that's 
that's really grueling but you'd have five years to do it so that's also very doable um and then if you went to conference if you went to conference um you could also reach the limit too, but you'd be spending more. So I think that in order to do this cost effectively, the best way would be to do an, get an internship or plan an internship. And you can totally do that within the five years of, you know, being a music therapist. And then, um, and then read the journal articles. That would be the best way to get these credits for free. And then know that you do have to pay for the renewal. So like, you're not going to be able to renew this certification for free. You still have to, um, pay to get it removed, like renewed. And then when you do do, when you do renew it, you can always put down mu like anything you're unsure about music composition, thesis, music therapy services, you can always put that stuff down. And then if they approve it, great. Then, then you have more than enough. Then you know for the following term that you can add this stuff in. But if they don't approve it, then then we know. Um, so that's what I always do. Like, so in this case, I'm going to put 150 down and then see what they approve and what they don't approve. They're definitely going to approve 100 for sure. But I just want to know about on the back page if they're going to approve those unsure question marks. Um, I did that with my brain. So, so my certified in brain injury um, certification, <laughs> it's, it's kind of awkward in the wording. I wasn't sure about a couple of articles because technically they were they were for acquired brain injury, but they were more music therapy articles. <laughs> yes, killing two birds with one stone. Um, and those... Like they act, they ended up approving. You you have to do ten credits every year, and they ended up approving all. I think I did fifteen, and they ended up approving all fifteen. And, and yes, that extra five doesn't ca carry over, but at least you know, like okay, so music therapy articles in regards to acquired brain injury, they'll count. So at least I know for the future that they'll count it. Um, so that's what I always do. Just do it a little bit more. Going to conference, I think, is a lot of fun because you get to run into everybody. And then when you're, <laughs> and then you're all grown. But it is, it's really expensive. <laughs> if your company can pay for it, though, I totally suggest going. If you have to pay for the conference fee, like that six seventy out of pocket, you better, you better have a sugar daddy or a sugar mama actually paying the bills. I'm just going to throw that out there because Miss Finance over here is never going to let nobody do that <laughs> on $35,000 annually. I'm sorry. It is against my education. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Love you. Bye.